So, guys, this one goes out to my 29 subscribers. They all know who they are. Thanks for subscribing, guys. All right, let's do this. So, I got this airless sprayer so we can paint the inside of this trailer because I really don't like hand painting. That's garbage. I don't like doing that. Anyways, so. We're gonna go and unbox this with you guys and uh, and do a little review about it. We'll actually test it out this time, not like the table saw bullshit. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is a Bever brand, Bever brand uh, airless sprayer. I'm not sure. I don't know. It's oh, it's an electric airless paint sprayer X6 or X9, depending on which one I ended up getting. Who knows? Anyways, we'll set that aside because we we'll probably need that later. All right, so we got everything unpackaged and. Uh, we got, looks like we have every single part we need here. We have the, the hose that comes from, this one goes from uh, the machine to the actual spray gun itself. We have the spray gun. Again, I don't know what this is for yet. This little, looks like a, a tip cleaner, little file. So we can clean out the, the spray nozzle or something like that. A couple wrenches so we can tighten things down. Again, this is the extended wand for, goes on to the end of this so you can make it a little bit longer. There's your return line, and uh, this is the pickup line. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting it together. Big line is gonna go on to you. Go ahead and put the butterfly clamp on the hose. Smash it up on there. Oh, that's sticky shit. <laughs> Stickers. All right, that's all tightened on there. Now we're gonna take this one right on to here. Is the return. We're set with the pickup and return. That shit. Do not remove this tag. Well, too late. Warning you if you are accidentally inject with high pressure paint from your machine. Let me tell you something. If you're that f***ing stupid, but you can't keep your finger off something that says high pressure, don't f***ing be spraying paint, dumbasses. Everyone, everyone's got their own personal feelings about things and some people think they can do things and some people can't. That's the bare bones of it. We're just sticking it to the other end of this anyways, so. They have compression fittings on ends, on both ends, so no big deal. Go ahead and tighten it on just like we did the other one. And we're tight and ready to go. All right, everybody, I got everything set up and ready to go. You're gonna grab your pickup line and your return line, and those both go in to the paint bucket. On our settings, we need to rotate it back to prime and turn this valve back to the bottom. That's going to allow the paint's gonna come into the pickup, up into this assembly, and back down through this. This is also how you would wash your machine after you're finished. So let's go ahead and prime it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start spraying this right here. <laughs> All right, I gotta open some windows here. You guys get the general idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna finish painting in here and you guys will see it when it's all finished up. great we'll give you a tour a little bit later on another video probably but we took you through the whole process of this Weber sprayer um, it's a pretty good little machine uh, we went through the whole system uh, unboxing it we uh, we assembled it uh, hooked it up to some paint primed it got it set ready to go painted the entire inside of the uh, office trailer with it and you guys got to see a little bit of cleaning it up as well it's the same process as setting it up except for you just using water uh, 
But I'll give you a little bit of review of what I think about this thing. Like I said, I, um, I've had one of these before in the past. Not a Vever. I believe it was a Cobalt. It seems pretty similar to that one. Uh, and that was like a $500 or $600 machine. I only paid $149 for this thing shipped, so I can't really b about that. All the pieces and components are very, very similar. Um, everything holds up. Everything... It sprayed great. It, it did just the same as that other machine that I had previously. The only real difference that I think I saw between this one and my expensive one is that the expensive one was able to straddle a five gallon bucket and just sit there with it. Uh, this doesn't have that capability. You could just set it on top of the five gallon bucket or the hoses they give you, they're long enough to go up and into a five gallon bucket. My recommendation, if you guys want to paint something, if you're going to go out and paint the inside of your house, or if you're going to paint anything big, small, medium, large, this thing should do it for you. I can't give you a really good longevity review because I've only just started using it. I don't know a whole lot about Vever, but from what I've been seeing, they've been creating a whole lot more products. Uh, I, they're probably a Chinese company, but the way I look at it is some of these things are worth spending the extra money on if you're going to use it every day. That that makes sense to spend the money on, but if you're going to use it once every couple of years, why spend the shit of money on it, guys? 150 bucks, you, you can't go wrong, uh, even if it is Chinese. The other part of it is if you just go through and clean it up after you're finished with it, put it back together properly, store it away clean, Take care of your tools and they'll last for a long time regardless of how cheap they were when you bought them. If you guys want to get one of these, and uh, I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that because I'm not sponsored by this. I'm just doing it because I bought it and I wanted to. If you guys want to get one, buy one. If not, cool with me. You're not hurting my feelings any. So thanks for the subscribers I got. 29 of you guys, the channel is growing. That's pretty awesome. Enjoy the nice weather if you've got it. If you don't, well, Sucks to fucking be you. Until next week, guys. Peace out, bitches.